Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. Split and Wigs back with another video, and this time I'm doing a follow-up video for some people that commented on the video I did about six months ago now uh, of sending my scuff controller back to scuff to get repaired by them. Um, and I'm just you know, following up with, with people that were asking how the controller was still working. Now, if you didn't see that video, I'll link that, and I'll also link the cleaning maintenance video that I did, both at the end of the video. Check those out. They help out a lot. Also, subscribe to make sure you find your way back for all my content, and please drop a like. They're free, and much appreciated, and help out the video more than you can imagine. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get into it. Uh, just a quick overview of, like, what I had done to this controller. Uh, I was starting to get stick drift pretty bad. I sent it in, and they give you kind of like an overview of what they think needs done. I was a level two uh, repair. There's level one, level two, level three. Um, and even though I only needed the R3 and the L2 fixed, I had stick drift and the L2 would just depress itself uh, without touching it. So even though that was all that I needed to have done, they actually repaired and replaced the L3 and the R2 as well. And I'm not sure what else, but I'm telling you when I got this back, it felt like a new controller. And here I am six months in, and I'm still at a .05 dead zone, which is extremely good in Warzone, uh, with, with no issues whatsoever. The L2 works great. The whole controller works great. So I'm six months in to spending $69.99 on what I feel like is a new controller. Um, so I'm super happy to bring that news to everybody. I just feel like, you know, scuff is a tough thing. I mean, there it's a competitive market. Uh, all those controllers are amazing, and they do help with you know gaming and trying to keep up with you know with the fad. Um, but it does get expensive, and it does if you play a lot, they wear out quick. Especially you know Scuff is a little bit quicker than the others, like Battle Beaver and stuff like that. So hopefully, I can save some of you some money with this video and this series of videos that you don't just keep it for parts, buy a new one, or just throw it away and get on to another controller. Because honestly. $69.99 is not much more expensive than just a off-the-shelf PlayStation controller, and I still have a scuff that works great. Uh, and there's no reason that whenever it breaks again, I can't just send it back in for another repair. So, you know, I hope you got something out of the video. Splitting wigs out. Catch you on the next one.